Welcome to our lectern line. Just so we understand how this works, let's do a second example. Sometimes seeing two examples instead of one example really solidifies the understanding and the concept. Again, we're going to try to use synthetic division when in the denominator we have something like 2x plus 3 instead of x plus 3. How do we do that? Again, we use the numerical coefficients of the numerator. We put those down, 2, minus 5, and minus 12. We draw a line like this. Now here we're going to put in the root made up from the denominator. What makes the denominator equal to 0? So we have 2x plus 3 equals 0, 2x equals minus 3, or x equals minus 3 over 2. And that's the number that goes over here, minus 3 over 2. Remember that these numbers represent the first term, which is the x squared term, the second term, x to the first, and there the x to the zero term. Now we draw a line, and again we follow the very same process that we always do with synthetic division. We drop down the first number, then we multiply the minus 3 over 2 times 2, which gives us, let's see, 2 divided by 2 is 0. That gives us um, minus 3. So minus 3 over 2 uh, times 2, the 2's cancel out, we get minus 3. We add those together, that gives us a minus 8. Minus 3 over 2 times minus 8, that gives us a positive 12. We add those together, we get 0, which means we get a 0 remainder. Which means that we have an exact factor for this. Again, this represents the x to the first term, which is 1 less than the exponent that we had over here, and this represents the x to the 0 term. So now what we can say is that 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 divided by x minus 3 over 2. Actually, it's x plus 3 over 2 because that's the root, so we need to use the x plus 3 over 2. That is going to be equal to what we have here, which is 2x minus 8, which is the solution we got. Now when we cross multiply, we get 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 is equal to 2x minus 8 multiplied times x plus 3 over 2. And now what we're going to do is we're going to divide this by 2 and multiply this times 2. So let me write that in here. So here we're going to divide this by 2 and here we're going to multiply the times 2. That way we don't change anything and when we make that change we end up with 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 is equal to x minus 4 multiply times 2x plus 3. And then if we bring this over here, we can write that 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 divided by 2x plus 3, which is what our original problem was. We know that now equals x minus 4. And just to show you that that's really what we're doing here is factoring, let's use the Let's try to factor this quantity here by using the FOIL method. So to get 2, we can either have 2, 1, or 1 and 2. And the last number, minus 12, well, we can get that by using minus 4 and plus 3, or plus 4 and minus 3, and maybe uh, minus 6 and plus 2, or plus 6 and minus 2. And I don't think we need 12 and 1 because the middle term is not big enough for that. So which combination will give us a minus 5? Let's multiply 2 times 3, which is 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 1 times a negative 4, 1 times a negative 4. That's 6 minus 4, which is 2, and of course that's not the right solution. We need a minus 5. Uh, let's try, um, hmm, how about... 1 times 3 and 2 times 4. I think that will give us a trick. I'm going to go 1 times 3 plus 2 times negative 4. That is equal to 3 minus 8, which is minus 5, which is the middle term that I got. So I got the right solution, which I found by using these two numbers and by using these two numbers. And so that means that my polynomial 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 is equal to 1x minus 4 multiplied times 2x plus 3. And that is of course the exact thing 
that I found when I solved it using synthetic vision. So you can see that in essence, it's the same thing as factoring. It's the same thing as finding the other factor of our polynomial. And so you can see the connection. Hopefully that helps us understand what we do with synthetic division and how useful it can be to find the other factor. And that is how it's done.